Remember that huge tree back in our woods? Found a sucker here that wants the wood. <laughs> I love firewood. And I need to get rid of it. So uh, my neighbor Rex and his son Cameron. Cameron, this is your first video, isn't it? Second, no, third. Oh my I, goodness. I'm, I'm a regular on this channel, if you didn't know. Yeah, as long as I don't have to pay royalties, that'll be <laughs> fine. Um, we're gonna remove this uh, tree out of here, get a bunch of this wood out, got the trailer out there, getting it loaded. Let's get started. So Cameron, what are you going to use the wood for? Um, I have a wood burning stove in my garage. Most of it will go to, but we have, seems like weekly campfires where we go camping a lot. So we'll get a burn up. Do you have a place to store it? Eh, outside, yeah. Okay. There's a long fence where I got a whole bunch of old firewood that we just line up. So get okay. chopped up and sit it back there for a while. Awesome. I think if you can get this one, and if I, with my load, we'll have enough. We'll go dump, and then we'll come back and get started sawing. Try to get your uh, bottom teeth under it. Bad advice, Tim. Should have told him to go over the top. We'll see if I can recover from that. Dad's going to want to buy one of those. Oh, a no. grapple is yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah, so one thing that you'll have to do is you have to keep pinching it. It's not a one-time pinch. It's like every, uh, like when you first grab there. Okay. Now hold the pinch button. My first time holding the grab. Yeah, and then once you get it out a little bit, there's two different ways to try it. One is with the teeth under it, like you're doing. The other is totally down over the top, okay. and grab it. A lot of times I do the totally down over the top. Right. So. Each way can have its advantages, you know. There you go. Say, so if you drag it out, you think you can get it from a different angle? Ugh. I hate it when I give poor instruction. Hopefully Rex can recover from that. With this type of grapple, usually the over-the-top approach is the easiest. There you go. We're going to go dump in? Yeah, we're going to go dump now. We're just taking this on a real short trip across the road to Rex's house. The trailer battery was totally dead and I'd only charged it an hour or two, so I was a little nervous as to whether I'd be able to dump it. That's why this load's relatively small. Christy, you're doing great. Were you flying? Oh, you are flying. Yeah. Somebody's spying on me. Sure enough. Here's the moment of truth. The plan is to pile the wood here in Rex's yard, then they can split it as they get time. And also, when the weather's a bit cooler. Now YouTube don't kill me on comments because I'm using the saw wrong. <laughs> I'm not a professional. I just like doing it as a hobby. Got this one, that one, that one, that one. They come grab them, get them out of the way and clear, finish cutting that. Yeah. All right. If you want to discuss these grapples more interactively or any other tractor topic, join us at tractoruniverse.com. I don't know why I can't look, pick up both of them, but I can't. There you go, you got them. Tractor Universe is a safe place to ask your questions. You won't see folks jumping down your there throat. There you go. Rock and roll. And likewise, if you can help some others out with their questions, please join us, tractoruniverse.com. Traffic jam in the woods. You don't have to move them like that, Cameron. That's what makes it fun. Not only is it my firewood, but it's also my workout. Okay. 
радиации. There you go. Uh. Don't take that. All right, watch the gator in the tree behind you. Folks are always asking about which style grapple is the best. Well, I can tell you that it's hard to pick up two logs with this style grapple. Two logs of any size. As you've seen Rex struggling, I'm going to struggle too. You just feel like you ought to be able to pick them up, but a lot of times they just want to roll out. See how that's doing? Maybe I'll get it this time. Nope. It's hard to pick up two logs with this style grapple. The Artillion style, I'd be able to pick up both of those. This looks like a log moving machine. Yeah, I think uh, it does a little better with that style. You know, different styles have different purposes, different advantages. Of course, you know, the problem is a guy can't afford multiple styles. Right. So which one is optimal in that is just a question that I cannot answer. So hopefully we can demonstrate, you know, the, this, you know, this difference, this advantage. Notice that with this modular grapple, we have to plug in each of these two separately. This is no more than a T here, just to allow it to T to the different modules. That's all it is, uh, but we do have to have those plugged separately with this style of grapple. The other style of grapple, even though it's got two lids, it just uses a, a single T right there built into the grapple for that purpose. Okay, let's give it a try. Not that one. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it looks a little awkward, but this is a lot easier to get multiple logs at the same time. Just the way the different styles work. You got two right here, Dad. Or that one on top. Now that's why I love big equipment. Wow. There we go. Yeah. this a little better to get out of the one lane road. Probably never get all that back loaded again. There we go.
Let me know if that. Let me know if the gate's gonna hit anything, Rex. Hey, it's been a long time since we've shown this trailer. We don't use it as much as we did originally. We used it a lot originally because we didn't have the 28 footer and we only had one tractor at the time. It's called the Ultimate Dump Trailer. It's from BYs Manufacturing, bysmfg.com. Gate opens this way. It also, with a mechanism here, opens down so that you can drive into it with your equipment. It's all hydraulic. These sides come down so that you can get a little tractor dumping over it. That's the only way we could dump in it with these tall sides, is to have them fold down. I don't know what Rex is gonna do. Now I'm getting it. It might come out. Well, hey, I'll drive up a little bit and maybe that'll be enough to get him. Oh, we got over the top of that one, didn't we? Yeah, stuff dropped out from underneath of it. Yeah, I think we're in pretty good shape. I believe that little piece will break, or, or yeah. maybe it's even on its own. I don't yeah. know. most of it with one more. Yeah. Folks, that is one disadvantage, perhaps a disadvantage to these low profile dump trailers. When they dump, you're not gonna be able to dump stuff in a big pile. We were actually quite uh, fortunate on our first uh, dump to be able to get them pile. A lot of times you string stuff out further than what you'd really like, and that's what's happened this time, so that's not a surprise to me at all. You'd have to get you know, a, a, a dump trailer that was up higher off the ground so that uh, so that more stuff could come out of it before you pull forward. That's really the only way you could keep from stringing it out like that. Another traffic jam.
Well, there's no question the artillion grapple is really showing off in this episode. Got to raise it pretty high to get over that log there on the left. This is a perfect application for that style of grapple. Yeah, I couldn't have picked up this load with the other grapple. However, don't make your decision based on just this one episode. For instance, just the last episode that we showed where Christy was using the grapple on the brush in the front yard, well, the clamshell worked very well. Oh, God. One more time, baby. Hey, I think the recipe for a successful Tractor Time with Tim project is a lot of equipment and one young, able-bodied guy. <laughs> I like it. As long as we have at least one, Rex, yep. then uh, then that's enough. He's the recipient of all this anyway, so. Yeah, he ought to have to work for us. Right. We, we might be able to have a few uh, s'mores with all this wood. I hope so. <laughs> Praying for a cold winter. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got a big pile of wood in a short time. We've worked two hours total on this. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, actually, Rex and I rode a tractor for two hours and Cameron did well. all the fun stuff. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks, guys. Thank you for doing this for us. We yep. appreciate it. Yep. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor time, time with Tim. With Tim. <laughs>